It was raining heavily. The hooded man pointed his gun and shot straight at the guy's head. He thought, is this how he's going to die? After that, he woke up in the classroom screaming. He was breathing very heavily. His name was Hai Van Teng. A friend asked him if he was okay and asked him what. How about they're going to go out and have a drink at the Rose Bar tonight? Hai Wan Teng thought that Zhu Jai hadn't they known each other before. And why does he look so young? But he remembers that. It die. This just can't be happening. He picked up his phone and looked at himself in the camera. And I thought it was true. He was reborn. Hai Van Teng slapped his face and told himself to calm down. You need to act as if nothing had happened. Don't let the past repeat itself. Zui Jai asked him if everything was okay. Hai Vanden said that yes, everything was fine, he was just a little tired. Let them go by themselves in the evening. There were screams in the classroom. The guys looked out the window and said that the goddess punishes bullies. Hai Van Tang also got up and decided to take a look. There was a girl who was throwing bullies to the right and to the left. Hai Van Tang said that she probably did not deserve the title of the highest martial artist. And these brats did not spare themselves at all. And he thought that why hadn't he noticed before that he man wrong was so leggy and had a good figure in high school. Is she really a superior martial artist? What's going on? Is this even his world? Then his friend came up behind him and grabbed him by the shoulder and asked him what was wrong with him. He's kind of distracted today. Hai Van Teng said that everything was fine. He was just tired and would rather go home. Leave the school and he crossed the pedestrian crossing. And they are immersed in their own thoughts. I think he is also a great martial artist. And what is going on in this world anyway? And I decided to take a look at her now. 30 years ago, a spatial crack appeared in the sky which connected this world with other measures. Singwu Continent There was a power there that allows one to comprehend and develop combat power. Scientists have studied the force and found that it is most likely dark matter. With the appearance of cracks in space, the Earth has undergone significant changes, and Earth creatures also began to be exposed to dark matter. The vegetation has become more lush and taller, and some species that have long disappeared have reappeared. The animals have become larger and their physical characteristics have improved. The changes have not bypassed human bodies. People have gone crazy. World-famous countries have begun to cooperate in the study of cracks. Soldiers and experts were sent from everywhere in order to find an opportunity to get to the Xingwu Cotton. These people were called harbingers. After numerous studies and experiments, people on Earth were able to start training. Finally, the countries unanimously decided to reveal their methods of practice and enter the era of martial arts together with the people. A. Van Ten, after reading all this, thought it was some kind of fiction. Has everything really changed that much? Has this world changed that much? I wonder what happened to the Wang family. And are these people his real parents? But even they could have changed, right? He gathered all his willpower and opened the door saying that he was back. His mother was at home and told him that when he returned, he should put himself in order because they would be eating soon. When he saw his mother, Hai Van Tang even shed a tear. And he said he was at home. After that, the whole family sat down to dinner. Hai Van Teng thought that in his previous life, the Wang family had humiliated people. She was eventually expelled. Just a month later, his father's group called Shintan and his grandfather's group called Rong Sheng went bankrupt. After the Wang family broke up from the heart, Wang Xingu was killed. Soon, Lai Zumei's mother died of depression, and then he decided to run away too. But he did not expect that the result of his cowardice would be his death. He didn't realize it until he died. You need to get stronger. This is the only way that will allow him to protect the people he cares about. The next morning he went to the university. Looking at him, Hai Van Teng said that he really justifies the title of the best and magnificent university. Then a man came up to him and said that a routine check was being carried out. He must provide assistance. Hai Van Teng did what was required of him and thought, Is this really the runes of power on the body? With the help of runes, their damage increases many times. Even if a martial artist is shot in the forehead, he is afraid that they may be crippled. After checking, he went to the university, where he was met by a girl who asked that he had signed up for admission. Haley Van Ten said yes. The girl said that if he is a junior student, it is better to go to the study hall number two. Hey Vanden said he was fine and thanked the girl. After that, he went to the hall number two. He saw a lot of people who were training there and was very surprised. He walked over to the recognition machine himself, and putting his finger on it, he was very surprised, asking what it was. The system said that the host was recognized and added a plus one to his strength. Tai Van Teng thought, is this the God of War's system? All the people in this room turned around and looked at him. Someone asked what was wrong with him. Then Hai Van Ten realized what was the matter. He so, I was thinking that I didn't notice that I started touching the girl's legs. Two girls were talking to each other, and one of them asked if he was crazy. Hai Van Teng blushed all over and asked the girl for forgiveness and told him that if she understood, he accidentally bumped into her hips. More precisely, it's very bright on their floor. And he just wanted to see what was there. He got very carried away and 
But the girl didn't even listen to him and just ran away. Hi Vantina thought that maybe others just don't see it. The system sent him his own characteristics, in which it was written that his understanding is 18 forces. Addition 5, Strength 5 plus 1, Speed 7. He thought, is this really, is this really a golden finger? Then a man came up to him and roughly grabbed him by the shoulder, turned him around to face him. Hey Van Ten greeted him and asked him if something really happened to him. And I thought, does anyone else see this besides him? The man showed him some papers and, calling him a colleague, said he thought he was surprised. He must be a consummate martial artist. Maybe he'll choose one. Hi Van Ten chose a paper and said that then this one. The man hit him and told him that he would not reach the heights if he continued to fool around. He really hopes that he has figured it out. And now he will follow him and he will teach him the basics. Hai Van Teng said he understood. It was already evening. And Hai Van Ten was done with training at the end. He said that the main method used in the symbol continent is actually the nine complexes of the Golden Kingdom's radio gymnastics. Isn't that right? And I thought that time is fast and glass for bubbles. And therefore the mentor delayed their disappearance a little. I even met Pulayosha, who became his victim. But now he's finally rocked enough, and he really didn't expect to be able to develop boxing skills and improve his core stats. Now his comprehension has become 19, figure 13, strength 135, and speed 76. Combat skills, basic boxing technique, superficially basic technique of practicing movements, superficially. Hai Van Tang went into the house and told his parents that he was at home. He was very hungry. His mother told him that you left egg noodles for him there. Let him sit down for now, she will bring him. Hai Van Teng sat down next to his father. His father told him that he returned very late, and he was very worried about him. Hai Van Teng told his father that he was practicing martial arts. In the North Star, his father put his hand on his forehead and asked if he had a fever. Why did he start talking nonsense? Or did he fall in love? Hai Van Teng said no. His father asked him that he had never liked to practice martial arts before, to which his son replied that he just wanted to, so he went. My father asked that it really be that simple. Hai Van Teng said that yes, that's right. The father of the country squinted at him and said that since he had made such a decision, he would support him in this. He will even hire a good teacher for him to study with him. But Hai Van Teng said that it is not necessary to hire anyone yet. In fact, he wants to find out at the beginning if he has talent. Let him let him work out alone in the gym for a few days. And he himself thought that it was unlikely that the tutor would also have a golden finger to help him advance in this. The father exhaled and said that well, as one of the three famous martial arts museums in Huexi, the North Star definitely has the upper hand. Hai Wan Tem said that he had eaten enough and was going to rest first, and tomorrow he plans to go back to the martial arts hall in order to continue his training. After their son left, the father told his wife not to forget to ask her to buy meat tomorrow, because their son would need strength for training. The woman said she knew for sure how much he loved him. Day 2 Hai Van Ten burst into this hall as if he were at home and began to greet everyone. He said that the wounded birds have something to eat. And I thought that after all, whoever gets up early, God gives it to him. And looking into the system, he asked, What is interesting, how much has he raised the level of his strength? That's what he's going to find out now. After that, he began his hard training. After training, he went back to check how much progress he had made. The system said that his physique is 13. Seeing this, Hai Van Teng thought that his current strength was at a low level of skill and was quite consistent with his physique quality. The same goes for speed. He just doesn't know yet how to transform at all. Well, how else? You need to work hard today in order to reach the average level. A girl was passing by him and thought that this guy had behaved strangely yesterday. He's here again today. He certainly looks good, but it's a pity that he's mentally retarded, so she'd better stay away from him. The assistant congratulated him on his promotion. His understanding improved by almost 1, his strength increased by 5. The basis of possession of the ball increased by 3. Hai Van Ten thought that it was very good and there was wit. And even the basics of possession of the ball appeared. In taking the sword, I thought, wow, this is a copy of a series of shadows. I got caught just in time, I should try it out. After that, he started training again. The girl who passed by him asked that wasn't this the guy who practiced the 9 complexes of the Golden Kingdom radio gymnastics yesterday. After he finished, the girl asked, is that really all? He only practiced with the ball two times and has already started boxing. Will he do well? This junior is quite diligent and diligent, but he has obvious problems with his head. Then the coach came and asked them what they were crowding here for. The coach's name was Penn, and the girl asked him, what kind of monster did he bring at all? He had only practiced with a sword a couple of times, and he already knew the vase art. And now he's also taken up boxing. Penn, apparently, was at a loss himself. Hai Van Ten noticed his teacher and said that he had come. Peng said that they were like strangers. He immediately calls him a teacher, he can just call him Brother Pen. 
Han Van Tina said that brother Pang and asked him what was he doing so early. Pang said that he is not so talented and he is already in his 20 seconds. But he is still only at a high level of martial arts mastery. He can only rely on hard training. Well, he needs to go to the third floor. Senior martial artists will arrive today as supervisors. And if he has any questions, he can safely contact them. Hai Van Tang said that he was really a very good person. And I thought that besides, now is the best time to ingratiate myself. And going up to the girl, ask her if she believes in fate. The girl was embarrassed and asked him what? What was he doing all of a sudden? Hai Van Tang told her that does she know you? Just noticed that she also practices the big palm of the Tathagata and asked her if she could teach him. Well, after getting hit on the head and running away, he said that he still had some things to do so they would see each other. Later it was already late in the evening. Everyone started to disperse. The guy asked Hai Van Tang that it was getting late. Was he going to leave? Hai Van Tang was lying on the floor exhausted and said he would go soon. And he thought that he already had an average level of skill. Now his comprehension was 28. His physique was 42. The strength was 455. The speed was 185. He also gained more combat skills. The basic boxing technique was low level. The basic movement processing technique was also low level. The basic sword technique was of a low level. And the basic technique of using a knife was already at the level of an experienced or skillful one. Hai Van Tang was already at home and had dinner with his parents. Mom brought him more supplements and told him to eat and take his time, and asked him what, how was today's workout. Hai Van Tang said that well. One of the older students even said that he was quite talented. Mom told dad that their baby had already grown so much. My father said it was very good to have talent. He should train hard, and don't worry about the resources he spends on martial arts. Hai Van Tang thought that he was no longer ignorant. When he really becomes a high-level martial artist, he will be able to show it off in front of his friends. In the meantime, he will not talk about what is on the average level in order not to destroy their illusions. Then his friend called him and told him that they were already sitting in a bar called Rosa. Let him come to them soon. Hai Van Tang said that it was fine. Let them wait for him, but it would be soon. And he thought that it looked like he wouldn't be able to work out at all today. And he told his parents that he was going to have a little fun. His father told him that he had been training all day today, so let him go and rest, but do not overdo it. And his mother told him that just don't come back too late. Hai Van Teng said he understood well. Hai Van Teng was already at the entrance to the Rose. He thought it was a pretty familiar place. After the Wang family disappeared, he never came here again. Then a friend ran to him in this bar and started shouting at him that it was bad, because something had happened to his family. But at that moment, Hai Van Teng was already pretty drunk and said, come on, what could happen to them? Therefore, they should keep drinking. But now he can't afford to relax, because rebirth was given to him in order to change everything. Upon entering this bar, a girl immediately called out to him and told him to come here. It was by why. Hai Van Teng came up to them and said they were a little early. His friend told him that at least he was late. Hai Van Teng said that the night is short and the fun is just beginning. So why leave so early? He ate next to Bai Wen. And he said that okay, now there will be a penalty. His friend Yu Hao was sitting opposite him. Hai Van Teng told him that he hadn't seen him for so long. Yu Hao said that his father caught him practicing martial arts recently, but today he sneaked out anyway. He is now a low-level martial artist. His other friend jumped up and said that, damn it, he had become a low-level martial artist and didn't say a word to them. He is the only one who has achieved such a rank in the future. If they bully, they will look for him. Bai Wai, addressing Hai Wang Teng, told him that they had been waiting for him for so long and he would not even drink with them. Hai Van Ten smiled at her and asked her what she wanted to drink. Bai Wai thought about it and said that it was likely. But then they turned around and saw that some kind of drunk guy, falling from an armchair, broke a bottle. Bai Wai said that it was boring. Hai Wei Tang tried to change the subject and asked his friends. What's wrong with that guy, Yuan Zhenhua? Zhu Tzu said that he was hanging around Lai Cheng like a dog. He doesn't have time for them. Hayward Ten said that everyone has their own aspirations and it's not worth saying so. Sweet Jai said that no, they wouldn't talk about him. After all, he gets angry at the mere mention of it. There was a drunk guy, noticed Bai Wai and went to them. He approached her and asked her if they could have fun with her. Yu Hao stood up for Bai Wai and asked him what he's doing there. But this drunk guy hit him back and asked him, so what, does he really dare to stop him? Hai Van Teng approached Yu Hao and asked how he was. Yu Hao said that this guy has a higher level among low-rank martial artists and he is very close to the mid-level masters. This drunk guy said that, apparently, he still had some strength left. That's all, so. But Hai Van Ten did not let him finish and hit him. He got up and went to the guy, said that he couldn't even take a blow. How dare he attack his friends? Is he worth it? The guy decided to attack him again. But Hai Van Ten grabbed his fist and did not let him hit him. Then he struck him another blow. The system congratulated him on getting Xylem plus 15 to speed plus 12. 
This guy stood up again and said he was a mid-level master. Does he really think that the average level is amazing? Hai Van Tang told him that I'm sorry, but with this level it's possible to do whatever you want. This drunk guy apparently got scared of this and started threatening him and told him to tell him who he was. He was going to beat him up. Hai Van Tang asked him what was he afraid of. His name is Lee Jun Yang, and he gives him half an hour to call someone. But he won't wait long. This guy said okay, let him wait. Bai Wai cried and said that brother Hai Wang Tang was such a fool. If he found out, he would hate her with all his heart. Sweet Jai asked his friend, why didn't he say that he was so strong? Hai Van Tang said they didn't ask him. Zhu Zai said that if he didn't tell them anything himself, it meant that he wasn't completely honest with them. Then he's paying for the wine today. Bai Wai hit Sui Jai on the head and said that he was a jerk. If he didn't stop it now, he would get it again. Sweet Zeng said that okay, this wine is for him. Bai Wai said she had to go. And the two men who worked in this place were now sitting under the bar. One of them asked the manager, what, would they just let them leave? The manager asked him, what else does he want to do? Was he going to ask them to stay? This youngster has an average skill level. It is clear that the story of his life is not so simple. He should remember that Zhao Ganbao is drunk today and is looking for trouble. It's all because of him, does he understand that? The guy said yes. The manager thought that he would have to tell the boss about everything. By the left was already lying in his bed and was writing to Hai Van Ten. She texted him that she was already at home and was already going to bed and wished him good night. She remembered his words. When he asked this drunkard, was he really thinking of attacking his friends? Is he worth it? Was he insulting his man and calling him a drunk? Bai Wai was still impressed. Day 2. Hai Van Teng came to practice again. He saw the guys who had already come and were studying there and thought that they had come so early and were studying hard. However, in diligence, he does not admit defeat, and he began to greet everyone smartly again. Yesterday's girl thought that he was acting strangely again. The assistant congratulated the owner on receiving basic sword techniques plus one. Basic dexterity has improved by one two. One basic technique increased by two. Speed plus five. Strength plus three. Hey Van Ten thought it was just awesome. Now it's time to go up to the second floor and look around. And he went to the door, which was written on it that this was the passage to the middle level. The girl came up to him and said that the martial arts museum has rules that low-level masters are not allowed to go up to the second floor. Hey Van Ten said he knows, and thanked her for her understanding. Girl C was horrified and asked that he had only come yesterday. Hadn't he? She was told that no, he came on Friday evening, he saw him. Could it be that after two days of training, he was able to become a middle-level martial artist? The girl said that it was absolutely impossible. He must have been engaged in martial arts. After coming here, looking at him, it is obvious that he is from the rich second generation. If they have difficulties in learning martial arts, and their family has money, then it is always much easier for them to start doing it than for them. Meanwhile, Hai Van Teng had already gone up to the second floor and thought that well, he had come. Han Teng was running after some guy. This guy stopped and asked him what it was two times already, isn't he tired of it yet? Hai Van Teng laughed and said that he was training alone and he just keeps them company. The guy told him that they needed to fight then. If he loses, then he will train alone. Hai Van Tang asked him that well, and if he loses, what then? Then he recognizes him as the elder. The guy ran even faster and said that he would never, even if he did not even dream about it. In the end, Hai Van Ten won. This guy was lying on the floor and trying to establish his breathing. He thought it was simply impossible. He is so fast that he can easily win. Hai Van Tang called him chubby and told him to get ready to admit defeat. And I thought that it was very interesting to watch him, much more interesting than before. And he held out his hand to him. The guy grabbed his arm and said, okay, from now on, he's his older brother. Hai Van Ten hugged him and told him not to worry. He's in a completely win-win situation right now. Will he cover for him in the future? The guy asked, what's a no-lose deal? Hai Van Ten thought that a long-term relationship had been built. And he said that, by the way, someone else would like to practice with him. Swords, sabers, melee and a baton, whatever. Someone in the audience said that this boy is even more stupid than he seems. The girl said that he probably just doesn't know, but he's been like this since the first floor. They have no idea what kind of family he's from. Hai Van Teng told his new friend that he should study for now, but he would go and practice a little. Did the guy think that his head was alright? And Hai Van Ten went to train with other guys. Now he already knows he's exhausted. And when he logged in, he thought that he had almost reached the high level of a martial arts student. And, of course, due to the failure of the development system, it happens very quickly. Now his knowledge is 43. Body type 84. Strength 964. Speed 533. Fighting skills. Basic boxing technique is perfect. Basic dexterity is perfect. The basic sword skill is perfect. Basic knife skill. Losing a high level. He thought that the inexplicable rebirth and this glitch had not appeared so easily, but now he would have to rely on him. And he said that since he had chosen him, 
Then he needed him, then he needed to figure everything out first. Noon of the next day, the four friends gathered in the dining room. Bai Wai, addressing Hai Wang Tang, told him that lately it has been difficult for her to meet with him because he does not come on weekends. Hai Van Tang told her that he was just a little busy. They'll talk about it when he's free. Yu Hao asked, isn't that Yu and Jehua? Sweet Jai asked what's where. All four of them turned around and saw the battered Yu and Jenhua enter the dining room. Bai Wai asked, who is this jerk next to him? Is it really Lai Shachen? Sweet. Jai said it was definitely him. But what happened to him at all? Everyone stared at Hai Van Tang. And he asked what they were staring at, because it wasn't his doing. Lai Shao noticed them, and asked them what's funny to them, or what. Sweet Su said that with such a look, he clearly does not shine with beauty and grace. Lai Shao got very angry and asked him if he really dared to make fun of him, and he rushed at them with his fists. But his fist was stopped by Hai Van Tang, who told him that his brothers just wanted to say hello, so you shouldn't take everything so personally. Lai Shao said that he was taking everything right today, and now let him let him go already. He started pulling her hard and shouting at him to let him go. Hayward Ten said that as he wished, he let go of his hand, and Lai Shao flew straight into the buffet. Hai Van Tang told him that he had asked to be released himself, so now he would not blame him for this. Lai Shao ran away with his friends and shouted at him that he would remember it to him. There will be a decisive battle after the martial arts hall classes. Bai Wai looked very worried and asked him if he was really going to fight with him. Zhu Jai was also excited, asked him if he was sure that he would win over him. Hai Van Ten turned to them and asked, What's what? He didn't say he was going. All four of them were already sitting in the classroom and waiting for classes. Then Lai Shao came into the office and told Hai Wang Tang that he knew so well that he was bullying him. Then they will fight here and throw him a sword. Bai Wai told him not to be so reckless. After all, Ten has not yet told you what they will fight on. They can use them with something lighter. Hai Van Ten patted her on the head and told her not to worry. The result will still be the same. Lai Shao, he said it was true. It doesn't matter what he fights with, and he's going to lose anyway. And now he's going to show them what it means to be a master of the blade. And they started fighting. And hey, Van Ten dodged his first punch. Lai Shao was furious and asked how such a thing was even possible. Hai Van Tang stood behind him and told him it was time to get this over with. Then he struck at him. Lai Shao said it was so fast, then fell to the floor. The system congratulated the owner for having increased the base effect of the blade by 20 and increased the strength by 12. Hai Van Ten threw it to his friends and said he just had a concussion. They could carry it. Bai Wai was delighted and told Hai Wang Tang that he had defeated him instantly. Sweet Su hugged his friend and said that it was just incredible, he was so strong. And Hai Van Tang invited his friends to go home and have lunch there. Yu and Jen Hua, watching them, thinking that how did Wang Tang become so strong? He betrayed him. Would he hold a grudge against him now? If he had known that at the time, he would not have acted like this. After leaving school, Hai Wan Tang rediscovered his stats and thought that speed played a huge role in today's victory over Lin Xiao. Then he saw Lin Chahan behind the counter, and I thought, is she really working part-time again? A guy who also worked with her came up to her and told her that it was getting late and he would give her a ride home after work. Another guy he also works with told her that they live on the same street, he can give her a lift. Then another girl came up and shouted at them, saying that they both live 108,000 miles from her house, so it's better to let them do their duties. Lin Chuan turned to them and said no, she could get home on her own. Then Hai Van Ten came up to her and called her a beauty, told her that Bananas had poured him a mug of tea with milk. Lin Chuan asked him, what, is it really him? Hai Van Ten asked her what, and why it might not be him? Lin Chuan told him that it was 18 Yuan. The guys who worked with her immediately tensed up. And one of them asked her what, who is this? Lin Chuan told him that it was her roommate. The other guy said that he was really just a roommate. But it doesn't look like he's just a neighbor. Hai Wang Tang thought that it was no wonder that Lin Chun had such an expression on his face. Because who could stand these jerks? And he asked her what time she was finishing her work. And if she wanted to go with him. Lin Chun told him that it just so happened that it was time for her to go. So she agreed. After finishing her shift and changing her clothes. She went out to him and told him she had to go. Hai Van Tang said that he would give you an escort today. He is responsible. He took her to the alley, and the girl said that she was grateful to him for everything, but she would go further on her own. Hai Van Ten noticed those two jerks who were hiding behind the wall of the building and asked the girl if she was sure. He'd better take her just in case, and pointed the finger at those guys. Lin Chuan threw him a helmet and asked him what, did he really want her to get on a bike? Hai Van Ten put a helmet on her and said that she had to go already, because it was getting pretty late. They can skip one lesson tomorrow. She must hold on to him and not fall. As he drove past these guys, he called out to them and said that the next time you call her by her first name, let them not forget to add her last name. The guys were very scared and said yes. Already riding a bike together, Hai Wang Tang told Lin Chun that he had helped her get rid of two enemies. 
How would she thank him then? Lin Chun said that of course she would help him with the college entrance exams. And that's why she was appointed his roommate. When they arrived at their destination, she told him to stop here, then she would walk home on her own. It will be easier for him too. Hai Van Teng shouted at her to look in the basket. Lin Chun saw milk tea there and turned to him and asked if it was really his. Hai Van Ten said that this drink is for her. He has not taken it for a long time and he does not like the taste of it. Lin Chun asked him what, what was he talking about? Once a week ago, he didn't drink it at school. Hei Vanden said it was just a joke. She should be heading home by now, because it's late. Lin Chun told him that she thought he had been acting very strangely lately, as if he had been replaced. Hai Van Teng told her that she was too worried. They will see each other tomorrow, after which the girl left. Then he heard a shot behind him. Hai Vanden heard a shot and, turning around, saw three men. He thought, are these really martial arts students? Their boss came back and noticed him too. One of his subordinates asked his boss what was going on. The boss said that the police would arrive soon. They should take him hostage. Then they told the boss that the guy was running away. The boss took a shotgun and fired near his head. And I told him not to run away and come here. Hi Ivan Ten raised his hands and trudged towards them, telling them not to shoot, he could help them. And he himself thought that he needed to calm down, he should not be led by emotions. So you can really catch a bullet. He has a chance to start all over again. Their boss slapped him in the face and told him what kind of nonsense it was, and ordered him to be captured. They shoved him into his car and climbed in themselves. The boss told the driver to drive immediately. The cops are coming. The guy who was sitting next to Hei Van Teng told him that he wasn't the one who took the hostage. He was avoiding. So why does he have such shortness of breath? Hai Van Teng said that he was just an ordinary person. He was tired of it too. And he thought that now was not the best time to run. He'll have that opportunity when they decide to take a break. Then he heard the sounds of the police. The driver told the boss that the cops were right behind him. The boss ordered him to get rid of them faster. The driver said they opened fire on them. The boss took Hai Van Tang and, leaning out the window and holding a gun to him, told the police to lay down their weapons. Or is he going to make this guy meet God? After that, they stepped on the gas again and shouted at the police to dream about catching up with them. Hai Van Tang thought that these bandits had even gone to kill the police and now the pursuit was stopped. He is sure that he will be killed if they manage to escape. After a while, when it was already dark, they stopped and pushed him out of the car, told him to get out of the car and not do anything stupid. They went through the forest, and someone told the boss that there was a hardware store right behind the forest. They will be able to hide from the police. Hai Van Teng thought that they had just escaped from the police, and they didn't care about him yet. He has only one chance now. They're all terrible people, and he shouldn't blame himself for what he's going to do. The boss told his people to be careful and they didn't fall into a ditch. Here the boss's voice abruptly stopped, and his team, frightened, turned around. They didn't have time to figure anything out. But hey Ivan Tang had already disappeared, and their boss had fallen unconscious. The bandits gathered around their boss and asked what had just happened. Did this man kill their boss? Where is this guy now? The system notified Hai Van Tang that his shooting skill had been slightly improved. After that, he five appeared in front of them and killed another one of their people. The blonde guy pointed the edge of the forest at him and asked what was wrong with him. Another suggested to him that it was just necessary to talk about it because it was more important. Now you need to shoot at him to save their lives. But Hai Van Ten was moving very fast, and not a single bullet hit him. He ran behind their backs with great speed and killed another one. Then he hid behind a tree. The bandits were already terrified and started shouting for him to show up and come out. One of them said he was out of bullets. The other one told him to go quickly, but he didn't have time to finish because Hai Van Ten had already killed him. After that, the remaining man took aim at him, and they shot at each other at the same time. But only this bandit missed, and Hai Van Teng hit the target exactly and this man fell dead. Hai Van Teng got up from his knees and thought that it was really the end. But is this the end? He's very sick and uncomfortable right now, but he should get used to it soon. Then another bullet flew at him, but this man missed. It turned out to be the boss. Apparently Hai Van Ten made a mistake and did not finish him off. The boss said it was a shame. Hai Van Ten finished him off, but he was very scared and did not think clearly, he was panicking. He wondered how he could have made such a mistake, and if he hadn't missed. If he really wants to take revenge on all of them, he should get used to it faster. Hai Van Teng took the gun with a rag and thought that he did not even know that they had a six gun. Probably the police too, so he can use it. After some time, the police arrived at this place. One of the policemen called Tai Yong and told him to come here. All the criminals were killed, but only survived. Then Hai Van Ten shouted that he was not. They shouldn't come any closer, they wanted it. Tim Young said that this guy is a high-level martial arts student. It looks like he's the one who killed them. It's a pity, because after all, he's just a student cop. They hope that this incident will not affect him much. When he comes to his senses, he needs to be questioned about the kidnappers. It's only their fault. The next day, 
Hai Van Teng was sitting in his seat in the classroom. The system said it was working. Languages plus 10. English plus 15. Mathematics plus 8. He thought that the system can also control abilities and it is becoming more and more interesting for him to learn about its nature. Then Lin Chun squinted at him and thought. What happened to him? Was he ill? Hei Yu Teng saw that she was looking at him and asked her if something was really wrong. Lin Chun immediately turned away from him and blushed. Thinking that it was over, she fell in love. It's embarrassing. He'll definitely notice next time. Zhu Jai came into the classroom. He called out to Hei Yu Ten and asked him if he was free on the weekend. Does he want to hang out at Zhao's house? Hai Wang Teng said that he was going to go to the martial arts house. Then Bei Wai hugged him from behind and told him not to be such a bore. He needs to be able to combine work with rest. Hai Van Ten still agreed and said that it was fine. Then he would rest better. The weekend has arrived. Everyone has already gathered at Zhao's house. But still, Hai Van Ten regretted coming here and thought that he shouldn't have followed their lead. Socializing in such a circle is much more exhausting than training. Mrs. Zhao appeared and apologized for making everyone wait so long. She just had to stay a little longer. When Zhu Jai saw her, he hung up and said that Miss Zhao was so beautiful. Then he saw Lai Xiao standing next to her. He was talking to Miss Zhao. Zhu Jai asked, What is he doing at the family feast? Hai Van Ten couldn't stand it. Hit his friend and said that he gets along well with everyone, so let him eat quietly and little by little. Then Mr. Zhao appeared behind him, who said she didn't seem to know him. And I asked him if she could ask from which family such a talented young man came. Hai Wang Teng told her that he was just an ordinary guest who did not deserve Miss Zhu's attention. Lai Xiao stood next to Miss Zhu, who told her that he was the fifth young master from the Wang family, whose name was Hai Wang Teng. Miss Zhao said that he was the youngest in the family. What an honor. And I thought that there was no need to interfere in the affairs of the family for you. But this guy is not at all what they say about him. Ms. Zhao walked to the middle of the hall and said that it was the culmination of tonight. And she asked everyone to go to the hunting grounds. She has prepared a special gift for the person who will catch the most prey. Hei Van Teng thought, is this really a coincidence? After all, he had only recently unlocked the shooting skill during the kidnapping. But he really have the opportunity to train him a little? Now his strength was already 2888. The speed was 1033. The shooting skill has been slightly improved. Basic dexterity is a master. The basic swordsmanship skill is a master. The basic skill of using a knife is a master. All the guests went out into the courtyard and each was given a gun. Zhu Zeng told his friend that every weapon of the Zhu family is unique. And that's why you need to have some fun. Hai Ivan Tang held the weapon uncertainly in his hands and asked, What about Bai Wai? Sweet Jai said that she said she wanted to shoot with a water pistol so they would go without her. Hei Van Teng said it was okay. After that, their hunt began. Hei Van Ten, I immediately shot a rabbit. Sweet Jai said that it was just incredible that the rabbit was barely visible, but he managed to hit the target exactly. Hai Teng said that fortunately, if they went deeper into the forest, they would be able to find better prey. Put them aside here. A fox cub ran. He was trying to get away from the pursuit of a man who tried to shoot at him. This little fox immediately hid behind Hai Van Ten. Li Sha came out of the bushes, who was trying to shoot this fox cub. Zhu Jai was very angry with him and told him to fuck him. Why shoot at people? Lai Xiao asked them, what are they doing here? And where did the white fox cub go? This calf was shaking all over and Hai Van Ten, who grabbed his leg, did not want to come out. Hai Van Teng told Mr. Li that they were connected by fate with this fox cub, so he asks that he let him keep it. Lai Xiao fiercely asked him what. But then Miss Xiao stood up for Hai Wang Teng, who said that she also thought that this animal was very special. Hai Wang Teng thanked Miss Zhao for this, after which, there was a huge explosion next to them. Miss Zhao told all her guests not to panic, and they should return to the manor right now. And I ordered my bodyguards to find out what happened here. One of the guests said that it was to be expected that the Zhu family guards were advanced level martial artists. Hai Ivan Teng quietly told his friend Zhu Jai that he also wanted to go and check and asked him to look after the white fox cub and not make noise. Zhu Zhao said that it was good. Miss Xiao suggested that everyone return to the villa as soon as possible, and I noticed how Hei, Yu Ten is leaving. After that, she saw how fast he ran and thought, is this guy really an advanced level martial arts student? His strength should be greater even than Lai Xiao's. That's why. But he interrupted her. One of the guards said that the sound came from a very distant place. They checked the entire surrounding area and found nothing unusual. Ms. Zhao said that she understood, but they should check everything downstairs again. Meanwhile, Hai Ivan Ten has already reached the place where this huge explosion was heard. When he saw what happened there, he was terrified. And I thought that this question could not be, they were just joking. This crater is definitely the work of professional craftsmen. He would hate to die under such circumstances. And in order to avoid a disastrous outcome, it would be wisest to put everything on the system. He remembered that himself and thought that the masters create bubbles with skills during the battle, don't they? 
so there may be something useful among the grooms. Some kind of martial artist rose up in the crater, who was furious and apparently did not quite understand what was going on here. Hai Van Teng started firing at him after descending the tree. He thought that he had already used fire several times, he should have already died. But, fortunately, last time he hid the gun in a bird's nest five kilometers away and that's why the police never found it. Otherwise, he would have been lying here a long time ago. The system notified him that he had a new entry-level fire skill. Ten were added to the fire sword skill, and the power of the fire increased by two. Hai Van Ten collected these skills at the bottom of the crater. After that, he succeeded significantly. The system told him that his knowledge was now 83. 12.1 Talent The initial level of fire mastery is 10 out of 300. Strength, 6 out of 100. Fire is the level of a 1, star soldier fighter. Source, the red fire scripture is progress, 1 of 100. Combat techniques. Boria's basic skills are a master for hand, to hand combat, sword, knife, dexterity. Shooting skill is a slight improvement. Fire sword skill, progress, 10 out of 100. Knowledge, basic subjects, the highest score. 5. Year training in martial arts theory and 3 and 3 year practice 30 points. Combat power was estimated at 132. Hai Van Tang was surprised and thought, what happened to the skill window? He also saw bubbles with strong ice riding skills, an entry-level ice skill, ghost fist of ice plus 8. Hai Van Ten reached for these balls and touched only his fingers, but his hand immediately froze. He thought that, most likely, the skills of fire and ice would compete with each other. But he has to, he has to, he just has to take a chance. After a while, when everything had already worked out, he said that it seemed that his risks had been justified after all. The system really works. That bodyguard saw some kind of light. They were very surprised, and one of them said, What is it? In that place, the forest was just ablaze with fire. It was already quite late and very dark. Hai Wang Tang returned to the celebration at Miss Zhao's estate. When he entered the hall, he saw a lot of people talking. He went up to Zui Jai and wanted to ask him something. But he was interrupted by Miss Zhao's speech. Miss Zhao went to the middle of the hall and said that Hai Wang Tang did not talk much about himself. But since he is an advanced level martial arts student, he probably managed to find out something. Then Sweet Jai told his friend in his ear that he had been noticed by Zhao Bayan when he left. Everyone was just waiting for his return. Hai Van Tang said it was understandable and thought it was a bit frivolous to give himself away. But now it doesn't matter. Therefore, he said that Miss Zhao was only joking. He could confidently say that he was an ordinary student who did not have any special knowledge, unlike their experienced bodyguards. Then Miss Zhao asked him, what then, where had he been for so long? Hai Van Teng said it didn't matter at all. He left solely to satisfy his curiosity and ended up finding nothing. And he thought that presumably there was a fight among martial artists. He added that he only knew that the area around the explosion had been burned out. And he himself thought that he had created a flame. And that was why, when everything was revealed, he would be in trouble. He also added that this was really all. And Miss Xiao and her bodyguards also discovered the fire, and that's why he came back. And he himself was hiding behind a tree when her bodyguards looked at this fire and asked where such a strong fire came from. He then thought that it was just necessary to make sure several times that he had not left any evidence. He will feel much safer this way. Hai Van Ten also said that when he first returned, he was a little out of his mind, so he decided to take a little walk. And she thought that he had moved away and hidden a secret weapon in his motorcycle, otherwise it could have been proof of his involvement. And he said, Miss Zhao, that he wasn't lying to her. And I thought he was just not telling her all the details. Miss Xiao told him that Hai Wang Tang was mistaken if he considered himself an ordinary person who would be content with such an explanation. Hai Wang Tang said that if Miss Xiao refuses to believe him, then what was the purpose of asking this question? Why shouldn't she have a lie detector test on him then? Miss Xiao turned to the other guests and said that in that case she suggested going back because it would be rude to continue this conversation in the presence of dear guests. Hai Wang Teng told Zhu Zhang that they needed to go, they were already free. Then Bai Wai came running to them, who asked Hai Wang Teng if he would give her a ride on a motorcycle since she didn't have one of her own. Hei Van Teng said it was okay. After a while, he was already in his room, lying on the bed. He looked at all his stats again and said it was good that he went there, otherwise he would never have been able to open access to all this. This time, he got a really valuable treasure. These runic weapons are worth several million each. His father gave him only three million thereby ruining a lot for him. Undoubtedly, he was poor and ambitious. Now he has in his hands what those masters fought for, and he has no idea what caused their interest, but it's easier for him. He doesn't have any special talent. If it wasn't for the systems, he would never have become a martial arts student in his life. He is becoming more and more interested in learning about it, about the system. It was already the next day and it was time to get ready for school. 
Pai Van Tang ran and said that he slept even better than after training his knee joints. But fortunately, he was not too late. When he entered the classroom, everyone paid attention to him and began to thank him. One of his classmates said that without Van Tang, they would not have been able to take advantage of such an opportunity. Pai Van Tang didn't understand anything and asked them if something had really happened. Maybe someone will explain everything to him. Then a guy appeared behind him, who said that the Ministry of Education had issued a decree on the procedure for conducting martial arts exams. Intermediate level students can now also participate. One of his classmates said that, fortunately, Hai Van Teng told them about it in advance, otherwise they would have been scared and would not have been able to study. Haley Van Ten was confused and thought that when it happened, and then I remembered that one day he burst into the classroom and, standing at the blackboard, said that so be it for all of them. It is known that starting this year, middle-level students will be able to take part in martial arts exams. Remembering this, he thought that because of his father's words, which he had told him before rebirth, he had made such a fuss, and he told them that they are classmates with them. And that is why they should not forget about him when they succeed in their exams. His classmates told him not to worry, because from that moment on he was their brother. Hai Wang Teng sat down at his seat, where Lin Chun was already, and he said they were too optimistic. And I asked her that, by the way, she is also a mid-level master, isn't she? She's been reading a lot about martial arts lately. She should try it too. Lin Chun smiled at him and thanked him for these words. Hai Van Ten smiled at her too and thought that she was innocent. It should also match. When the lessons were over, he left the school and walking down the street, said what the hell. Meditating all night long is, of course, very good. But why, if it's enough for him to sit for only 5 minutes in class to fall asleep? He exhaled and thought that he should go to the pet store and find out if anyone could hatch from this egg. Had he forgotten something? Then he saw some guy who was very scared and said that he needed to look here. Hai Van Teng looked where that guy was pointing and also looked very tense and scared. Right behind Hai Wen Ten, a huge bird was flapping its huge wings. Hai Van Teng was very scared and thought it was a heavenly monster. He has nowhere to run even now, but he has to do it. Hai Van Teng ran, and this heavenly monster flew right behind him. He thought, why is this huge bird chasing him? Then this bird tried to attack him with its cool one, but he reacted quickly and jumped back. He got up and ran again, asked what the hell she was chasing after him for. He didn't steal her child, but then he noticed his bag, that egg, and saying that for sure. This heavenly monster has to get behind him, and he will give her the egg. And he showed this bird an egg in his back. He wouldn't want to lose it, but he was identified before nine. This is a celestial monster that has already been killed, and he said that it didn't matter anymore. Hai Van Tang approached the guy and asked him, What, who is this person? Whoever killed a huge bird with one shot must be very strong. The guy told him that he was part of the city guard, which is why he had to be strong. Hai Van Tang saw the skill bubble again and thought, is it possible that even skill bubbles fall from such monsters? He bent down to take it and thought that, but why is it empty? He killed the bird with one blow, his reward should have been more. Then the guards came up to him and, grabbing him by the shoulder, told him to stand, where it stands. He must not approach for his own safety. They will finish cleaning the city as soon as possible, so they have to be patient. Who are you from the people shouted that here is the city guard. The guy next to him said that this is a special organization that was created in order to protect the city to the whole world. Without them, except for office workers, they have incredible, strong martial arts skills. Hai Van Ten thought that it seemed that the huge crow had come for him. Was it really because of the egg? What difference does it make? It's better for him to go behind the incubator in order to take care of this egg. But then he stopped and said that he had just remembered that he had left his motorcycle there. You'll have to come back for it. After a while, when he had finished with all his business in the city, he returned home to his room. He was on the phone and said, What kind of skill called spiritual power did he get today? What exactly is he like? After applying this skill on himself, Hai Van Teng was surprised and thought that wow, it looked like he was wearing colored contact lenses. And if you look closely, they look like crow's eyes, but how does it work? Then he looked at the egg. It was as if it were all fire. Hai Van Teng said that the same power of fire. Could a spiritual force skill give him the opportunity to discover talents? Great. Now he can use it to find out how strong a particular fighter is. But then he suddenly felt dizzy and had a headache. He said he was feeling a little dizzy. Sitting up on the bed again, he logged into the system and said that spiritual power is characterized by the accumulation of internal energy and the owner. He doesn't seem to be able to use it indefinitely. But this skill still has huge potential, and he should pay more attention to it in the future. In the evening of the same day, Hi Ivan Ten decided to try out his new skill and went to the forest. There, he heard someone approaching and activated a spiritual force. He looked at the guy who came out from behind the tree and thought that it was really his might. He is also a master of martial arts. This guy here, he was told to return what he had picked up from Bao and Mountain. 
Hai Wang Teng said that what other mountain is Bowen? He has never been on it. This guy asked if he had never been. Then where did he get this sword and gloves? Did he really think they wouldn't find him if he covered all his tracks? He has to give it all to him. Otherwise he will show him the difference between a student and a martial artist. Hai Van Teng said that it was fine, but he would give him everything if he came closer. But in return he had to promise that he would spare his life. He will take everything off. But when this guy approached him, Hai Vanden took out his sword and put it to his throat. This guy said he knew he wasn't that simple. That's why he was on the alert. A struggle began between them. But this guy didn't expect that Hai Vanden had the skill of fire. Therefore, he said that it was simply impossible. This guy was trying to use the Earth Core Explosion skill. But that didn't help him either, as Hai Van Tina used his new ice skill. After that, Hai Van Ten defeated him. Bubbles and skills were poured off this guy too. He leaned over to them and said that he had just killed a martial artist. He took one of the bubbles and said it was an earth element. Another additional skill. He is moving faster and faster towards becoming an all-powerful martial artist. But this world is really dangerous. But is there a way to use both powers at once? Hai Van Teng was already sitting at his computer at home. He received a message that his custom-made case for storing weapons was already ready. Hai Van Ten said it was fine, the case was ready. This means that he has found the sword and gloves he has found can be safe. Another major expense from his already small budget. Well, wait, what does it mean that you need to keep your martial arts master ID? They wrote to him that he needed to enter his martial arts master ID. Hai Van Teng asked, what is it? To which he was told that this was the number of his martial arts master's certificate. Hai Van Teng asked how he could get it. This was followed by an angry message saying that he needed to take a test at the Martial Arts Association. Doesn't he have one? Hai Wan T was furious and asked what was wrong with this store. Maybe they'll send him the product first, and then he'll tell you his ID. What does he need? The man replied that he first needed to go to the Martial Arts Association and get a certificate. He will be able to use runic weapons only if they are available. If he already has it, then he should give the number and they will deliver the goods tonight. Hai Van Ting was already in class at school and they were told that classes were cancelled. He looked at Lin Chun. Lin Chun was confused and thought, why is Hai Wang Teng looking at her like that again? When the girl looked at him, Hai Van Teng stood up and wanted to say something to her. Lin Chun was even more confused and asked why he had called her. And I thought that he was approaching her, what did he need? Hai Van Teng said that he would need to go to the Martial Arts Association. I didn't ask her if she could cover for him in front of the teacher. Lin Chun couldn't stand it, jumped up from her seat and asked him what. Why was he skipping classes again and why did he need the Martial Arts Association? Hai Van Ten smiled innocently at her and said that he was on a very important matter, but let her not worry. He would not do something he was not sure about. After that, he did not wait for her answer and rushed out into the corridor, saying that then he was leaving. Lin Chun was confused, and when he had already left, she thought that it was possible to gain the trust of a martial artist in the association. Is he really? It's just incredible. Hai Van Teng has already arrived at his destination. He looked at the building and said what an amazing building. And I thought that many visitors to this place are also masters. There are a lot of people here, so they'd better disguise themselves. And wearing an alien mask, he entered the martial arts association. When he came in here, he said that he had come here to get a martial arts master's certificate. A girl came up to him and said that he should follow her well. They went into your room, and the girl told him that he had to follow her instructions. He has to take a test inside this machine and he will receive a certificate in less than 10 minutes. Hai Van Teng took off his mask and lay down in this machine. After a while, the device told him that the test was passed. They congratulated him on becoming a martial artist, and he has to wait until the certificate is ready. Two men who were sitting in the room received an alert on the computer. The guy who stayed to ride on the couch said what it was. The man got up and said he would check it out. Well, when he checked the messages, he was very surprised and told his partner, whose name is Lao Fu, to take a look for himself. A guy named Hai Van Teng became a martial artist at the age of 17. Lao Fu, approaching him, said that the name was somehow familiar to him. A couple of days ago, one of his guys gave him the reporting information. It seems that it was written about him too. His partner said that they would then look at the surveillance camera and asked him if he recognized him. Lao Fu said it was him. The report said that he had risen to an advanced level in less than a month after joining the martial arts school. He wanted to watch him, and he had already become a martial artist. Does it look like he's really a genius? The man said that it seemed there was a dark horse in the martial arts exam this year, and he invited Lao Fu to go and see it together. Go and see it together. Hai Van Tang has already left the martial arts association with a card. He was very happy and said that the master's certificate was now in his hands. According to the rules of the martial arts association, this card gives him many privileges. By the way, he needs to hurry up and send Master Lu the ID. Well, now he needs to get back to his lessons. When he entered the office, Lin Chun called out to him, 
and I asked him if he could wait for her. Hei Van Teng said it was okay. After that, they went outside and Lin Chun, all flushed, said that so. But she couldn't finish because she was very embarrassed. Hai Van Ten smiled at her and said that if he could help her in any way, then we should just tell him about it. Lin Chun gathered her strength and finally asked him if he could lend her some money. Hai Van Tang asked without further questions what was needed. Lin Chun said that she knows 150,000 is a lot, but she will pay it back soon. She will earn it after the exam on a part-time job. Hai Van Tang didn't ask any more questions and told her to tell him her PayPal account. Now he will transfer the money to her there. And the one who pulled the phone thought, why did she need so much money? Lin Chun told him that she would repay the debt as soon as possible. Hai Van Tang told her not to worry. Let her not even think about worrying about it. After all, spending time studying is the most important thing right now. After that, Lin Chun left. And Hei Vanden wondered if there were any difficulties in her life. No, he just has to find out. So he decided to follow her. Lin Chun is now heading to Lin's grocery store. Hai Van Ten was standing next to her and watching her. I thought that. Apparently, the president's family has a small shop, which is probably quite difficult. Then he was about to leave, but he came across some group of guys. Their leader asked him what was he staring at, and he called him rude names. If he looks again, he will gouge out his eyes. After which, this group of guys walked past him. They entered the line shop and, shouting to the owner, told him that if there was no money today, he would blow everything up for him here. And Hei Van Ten understood everything. These bandits broke into Lin's shop, and their leader asked if the money was ready there. Lin Chun's mom told him that her daughter had already borrowed from their relatives, and I asked them to give them a couple more days. The boss, shamelessly taking a bottle of coke, opening it and drinking, hearing this very much, got angry and asked what else a couple of days. He has already extended the deadline to three days. Isn't that enough for them? They weren't going to return the money, were they? Lin Chun's mom said that they would really pay them back. It's just that they haven't raised enough money yet and she asked to give them two or three more days. The man was furious and told her to stop talking nonsense. If there is no money today, then their store will come to an end, and he ordered his guys to smash everything here. Lin Chun herself couldn't stand it and shouted that no, they would get their debt back. Right now, Na will give them 150,000, she has them. The boss laughed and said how brave she was, and I asked her, what, where did she get 150,000? The mother asked Lin Chun what she was doing. They don't have that much money. Lin Chun shouted that she would transfer the money to everyone now. They have to pick them up and get out of their store. The boss said that it was okay, he would return the money, and then they would leave. However, their debt was 150,000 three years ago, and he himself thought that she was quite cute. Apparently, he had found a person who was willing to lend her such a sum, and he said that now they owe him 200,000. Lin Chun's mom was horrified and asked, What is 200,000? It's only been three days. When did the debt manage to rise to 200,000? Lin Chun called them scoundrels and said it was illegal, she would sue them. Then the boss said that he would not detain her in advance, but then it will be very difficult for them to open a store in the future, which they will never be able to pay off their debts. Then how about this? If she becomes his girlfriend, then he will forgive this debt to their family. Lin Chun's mom said no way, even if he doesn't even think about it. Even if she can't own the store anymore, she won't give them hers. Then this man said that since they don't want to be nice, but then Hai Van Ten intervened, who went into the store and asked him what then what. This man said he was that idiot again. Did they already know each other? Is he really going to save this beauty? Hei Van Teng asked, what's the beauty? Actually, no, he just came here to get rid of a couple of jerks. Upon hearing this, the man told his guys to beat him up. They beat him half to death. Hai Van Ten told them that he advises them to be careful. They should not touch the store of the family of the president of their class. After that, he scattered them all in different directions. And I asked them what? Can they still move? And I told the boss to get out, because it's time to have some fun. Then the boss told the remaining two guys to attack together, but not in a bunch. He's all alone. But hey Ivan Ten got rid of them too. The man ran away and told him that this was not the end. They would meet again. But Hai Van Ten did not let him escape. He took the phone of one of his guys and threw it right at his head. The boss fell down, and Hai Van Teng said that's why it's not worth talking nonsense when he's trying to escape. And I thought, do ordinary people leave skill bubbles behind too? He approached this man and began to hit him in the face, told him to give the contract back quickly. The man handed him the contract and said that here it was. Hai Wang Teng took the contract. Going up to Mom and Lin, Chun told them to take a look, asking if everything was right. And I'm already turning to that man. I said that they were engaged in 100,000, and they demand 200 from them. Much easier than stealing, isn't it? Even if he doesn't think about it. Should they be following the news? Who do they think killed those bank robbers? The man began to bow to him and said that, yes, he would admit his guilt. He was wrong and asks for his pardon. 
Hai Wang Tang told Lin Chun to transfer 100-100 to him. 100 as a percentage. Lin Chun blushed all over and thanked him for it, and asked him what. But what is he doing in this part of town? Hai Van Tang asked her if she would believe him if he said he was following her. Lin Chun, still confused, turned away from him and said that she was no longer talking to him. She'll go, now she'll check on her mom. The two of them returned to Lin's shop. There, Lin Chun's mom thanked Hai Wang Tang, and she told him that they would return the money to him as soon as possible. And I asked him that, by the way, why doesn't he stay and have dinner with them? Hei Van Ten said that well. Lin Chun, even more embarrassed, told her mother what she was thinking about. He's just her roommate. Mom told her daughter, calling her Hanny, to take the guest upstairs, and she goes to get the ingredients to cook dinner. Hanny is a diminutive of Lin Chun. Hai Van Tang asked the president that where was her father? Isn't he in the store right now? Lin Chun told him that they would meet with him later. Lin Chun went upstairs with Hai Wang Tang and, entering the room, told her father that she had returned. But her father didn't hear her, because he was sleeping on the couch. Her father had no legs. Hai Wang Tang asked Lin Chun, When did her father become like this? Lin Chun said that her father used to be a martial artist. One day, when he returned from the Xin continent, this happened. Not only did he lose his legs, but his spirit was also broken, so he returned a cripple. Hai Wang Tang looked worried and thought that he had never thought that the martial arts world was so cruel. And Lin Chun said that if she knows about all the horrors of this world, then why does she keep practicing martial arts and wants to take part in the exam? Lin Chun covered her father and said she wanted to take revenge. Her father's partner said that their rivals had set up an ambush, dragging her father into all this trouble, and she wanted to get back at them. Hai Van Tang asked her, then what about the rest of his team? They're not aware of the current situation of her family, are they? Lin Chun said that most of the time they are fighting in the Xin continent and cannot return. Recently, her younger sister suddenly fell ill and her mom had no choice but to borrow money from those bandits. Hai Van Tang asked her if she really had a sister. Lin Chun said that he just doesn't know about her, her illness. Hai Van Tang asked what happened to her. Lin Chun said it would be good if they knew what she was sick of. And knocking on his sister's room, whose name was Chuja, she said that she had brought a friend, and I asked my sister if they could come in. The nurse said let them come in. When they entered the room, Hai Van Tang saw those skill bubbles again and thought what it was. The room was very dark. Lin Chun told him to stand behind her better, and he must remember not to get too close to her. Lang Chun, addressing her sister, said that her little sister had come. Hai Van Tang thought, can even an ordinary person create so many skill bubbles? It has nothing to do with her strange illness, does it? He touched one of the bubbles and the system told him what he got, power, poison plus from two, the power of poison plus one, and I'm a demonic lotus plus one. Hai Van Tang tensed very hard and thought, is it really the power of poison? Does such a thing even exist? What a surprise. Where does this girl have a connection with toxic substances? Lin Chunya asked him what was wrong with him. He sweat so much. Hai Van Tang laughed and said that he was just worried when he was standing next to her. And he thought that he had finally absorbed it, but it was almost revealed. Lin Chuxia asked her sister. Who is this? Lin Chun told her sister that his name was Wang Tang and he was her friend. Hai Van Tang thought that the poor girl, she couldn't even go outside. He thinks that I am a demonic lotus, which is a rather rare phenomenon that neither doctors nor martial artists can handle. She is constantly overflowing with poisonous power. Now he understood why Lin Chun wouldn't let him get any closer to her. The sister asked Lin Chun, what, is he really her boyfriend? Lin Chun blushed all over and said that what a stupid girl she was. That she was even saying this, he was not her boyfriend. Hai Wang Content thought that she was definitely being helped by higher powers. Lin Chun turned to him and said that she was only joking, he shouldn't take things so personally. Hai Van Ten asked why she was so worried. After that, he greeted her sister. Lin Chun told him not to approach her and to move away. Her sister asked him that wasn't he afraid of her. Hey Ivan Tang asked what he should be afraid of. The girl said that her face, and the air that surrounds it. She wanted to say something else, but Hai Van Tang interrupted her and told her to look at him. Does it show the effect of her power? Then he patted her on the head. The girl said that it was true and asked him why she didn't act on him. Hai Van Tang said this is possible because he often drinks berry tea and his immune system is strong. She can touch it if she doesn't believe it. The girl took his hand and thought that he seemed to be really okay. And that feeling, the sticky air around her seemed to dissolve. This person, she looked at him, but he made a sign for her not to say anything. And she wondered if he could possibly be able to cure her. He was called by Lin Chun who told him that if he really knew something, she hoped he would tell her about it. This is very important for her family. Hai Wang Tang told her not to worry. If he finds a solution, he will certainly inform her about it. And her sister told her not to complicate his life. Lin Chun hugged her sister and said that everything would be fine. 
Her application for the martial arts exam has already been accepted. She will become the mother of martial arts and help find a cure for her strange illness, to which her sister told her that she thought her mother had forbidden her to practice martial arts. Hey Ivan Tang thought that now he understood why the president was trying so hard. He did not expect to receive the power of the poison. In subsequent battles, he will be able to use it in conjunction with other forces. Poisoning an opponent before he has time to come to his senses is a little bit inappropriate, but after dinner, mom and daughter escorted Hai Van Tang and told him to come to them more often and thanked him for everything. Hai Van Tang said it wasn't difficult for him to help them. When he got further away, he opened the system again and thought that the shooting skill was still not that good, so he would go to the shooting range tomorrow and see if he could pick up any skill bubbles. The next day he did so, he went to the shooting range. The one he heard talking about some guys, one of them told the other that his shooting skill was just great, to which he was told that he did not think the word magnificent was appropriate here. Hai Van Ten looked at them and saw a lot of bubbles there and thought that there were so many bubbles around. He's probably really good at it. This guy said that he once saw a shot from a change of direction, that's what's really great. It's a pity that this shooter was too arrogant, which is why he fell for someone else's trick. He used his best skill to get rid of the girl he loved the most. Hai Van Ten intervened and asked what happened next. The guy said that he had a nervous breakdown, and now he is being treated in a mental hospital in the western outskirts of the city. That's a shame. Hai Van Ten thought that the mental hospital was on the western outskirts of the city. It seems he should go there.